Okay, hi, and uh, thanks for watching again. Um, before we get started, please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. I hope to make more, um, so it'd be really helpful if you did. But today, we are going to be looking at these little guys, and I don't know, I don't know if, if it's in focus, but um, diodes, and specifically clipping diodes in a hard clipping overdrive circuit. Um, there's plenty of information about this stuff on the web, so you can find it, and you probably heard about it. Uh, before, but you have things like LEDs, silicon diodes, germanium diodes, and sometimes no diodes at all. Um, and the tonal difference between those, the, the overdrive characteristics. Um, so we'll be looking at that as well. Um, but this is all information, like I said, you can find all over the web if you wanted to. Um, but one thing I really want to try for this video is to set up a system or a circuit where you have the same forward voltage um, with different uh, diode types. So what I did is I set up a, uh, an array of silicon diodes, four in a row, eight total, and so that equals the same forward voltage as an LED. And then I did the same thing with the germanium diodes, where you have two uh, germanium diodes in series, so four total, which equals pretty much the same as um, two silicon diodes. But you'll get to see that in the breadboard. But I just wanted to see if there is a tonal difference um, having the same forward voltage but different types of diodes. So let's get on to the breadboard cam and um, thanks for watching. Okay, so we're back with the breadboard and um, I'll pop up an, an image of the schematic right now on the screen so you guys can take a look at it. Uh, it looks something like this. It's a very simple schematic. Basically, it just, go, it just goes through um, one half of a dual op amp, and then um, from there, just hard clips straight to ground, and then goes through a very simple tone circuit, and then from there to the output. So it's very simple, very rudimentary. Um, probably not the best design if you want to build a good overdrive, but for this purpose, I think it works great. And looking at the breadboard, um, this is the output uh, trim pot. And inside, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a trim pot here, which is the gain knob. Um, I have a 200K uh, linear, all, well, trim pots are all linear pretty much as far as I know. So this is a 200K um, linear trim pot. And then this is the tone trim pot. So, um, and I have no way to go to clean except for rewiring all this. So I'm going to start off with the overdrive circuit to begin with. I'm on my neck pickup. This is what it sounds like. Okay, so it's a, it's a pretty nice sounding overdrive, I'd say. Uh, let me just go through um, some of the trim pot. This is the tone trim pot. Okay, and the output's pretty um, obvious, but we'll just do it. By the way, because it is a linear taper pot, um, you'll note you probably notice that probably from around noon to max, it doesn't change a whole lot. Um, an audio taper pot would be better here, but and same thing goes for the gain knob. So we'll try that out. Okay, so it's kind of what it sounds like. Let's just go through the different diodes and see what it sounds like. And then I want to talk about the forward voltages and then we'll do the other experiment here. But um, swapping these black and white leads is going to change which diodes are plugged in. This is what it's going to sound like with germanium diodes.
Okay, so it definitely gets a lot more compressed, a lot more overdriven, um, and you definitely lose some volume. Okay, and then let's go to the LEDs. So you probably noticed that the LEDs um, were barely lighting up, which means that there isn't any current going through them, which means that they're pretty much not clipping. Um, let's go to the bridge pickup, and if I play really hard, you're going to see it light up a little bit more, but not a whole lot. There's a little bit of breakup, but not a whole lot. Uh, and so what you need to do is crank the gain, which I will do now. Okay, so this is that maximum gain on the 200k pot. Okay, so it sounds like that and then what I want to do is remove these. And so right now the circuit is just the op amp. And so whatever you overdrive you hear is going to be the op amp clipping. Okay, so you notice that it's not a whole lot different from when we had the LEDs. Um, Obviously the LEDs were clipping because they were lighting up, but tonally you don't see a whole lot of difference or you don't hear a whole lot of difference. You do hear a little bit of difference. There's a little bit of the edginess um, or the nastiness of the op amp breakup is gone. And so it gets a little bit smoother on the edges and also a little bit finer if that's a good way to say it, but um, just a little bit smoother. And so it's adding that just a little bit of breakup to the op amp. The main focus that I wanted to do is go through these comparing different types of uh, diodes with the same forward voltage. So for that reason we have the trusty old uh, multimeter here. So let's start with the LEDs. Okay, so right there it says that it's 2.57, 7172, um, something like that. Okay, so regular silicon diodes, 0.64, that's pretty common. Okay, so 0.3, again, that's a very typical average. Uh, forward voltage for germanium okay and so um, what I did over here that's already been finished is I have eight silicon diodes four in a row for each side um, in series so this should add up to be but the same as the LEDs so there you go 2.3 I think the LEDs were what 2.5 maybe Okay, so um, now these these are four uh, germanium diodes in e, two in two in series, so that should give the same as a uh, silicon diode. Okay, 0.55. Point point five just close enough again. Um, these were what point six three or something like that. Um, so a little bit less, but pretty much the same. Um, so with that information, let's go and check out some tones. Okay, so we're back and we're going to be looking at um, the LEDs versus the silicon first. Um, the LEDs 
the the gain is still at maximum just as it was when we tested the LEDs by themselves so let's take a look at that on the bridge pickup Okay, silicon diodes with the same forward voltage. Let's move on to the germanium versus silicon here. Okay, so we're back and um, taking a look at the uh, silicon diodes versus the germanium diodes. Um, as we measured earlier, the forward voltages are pretty much the same. And so let's see if there's a tonal difference in um, the characteristics between different materials. So we'll start off with the silicon diodes. Okay, so continuing on with the germanium diodes.
Okay, so there was a quick video comparing different diodes and to see if there was a tonal difference between the different types of diodes that are commonly used in overdrive circuits. Um, that part about uh, using different diodes but having a similar forward voltage was really interesting for me. I think I heard a difference. I'm not sure. I'd love to hear what you guys think, um, even through the YouTube audio. Let me know what you uh, heard. Let me know what you thought. And also, if um, there's anything else you want to see me try, um, any experiments or modding stuff, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.